Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's gonna be a channel about comedy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not funny enough for that. But it's gonna be about... Drum roll, please. I dropped something. It's gonna be about me and my public speaking journey. Uh, so basically you're gonna see me unloading... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so basically you're gonna see me unloading uh, thoughts about my journey uh, to become a better public speaker. And just to, like how I'm gaining confidence over that. Um... You're gonna see a lot of you're gonna see a lot of self development stuff also because I'm also into that. So why do I want to improve on public speaking? For gig for the giggles, but really though, uh, it's just something that's always just kind of like you know, I've just always wanted to accomplish. It's 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 something that's just kind of been like a bucket list item of mine to be a better public speaker. Um, it's 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 just something about it like it's like the number one fear. It is even more feared than death, right? And I just want to, and I just want to improve on it. And I also thought, why not try? Why not vlog this journey? Why not, you know, record myself and vlog uh, uh, me becoming a better speaker? Um, something else I'm going to put on. Well, something I'm going to put on my channel is like the the speeches that I'm going to do. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, there's this club called Toastmasters. It's a public speaking club. And they're, you know, I, I know for sure they're all over the United States. It's an old club. It's been around for like hundreds of years, hundreds of years, <laughs> like a hundred years. And um, it's it's been around uh, it's been, I know it's at least in the big cities in the U.S. It's basically uh, a bunch of people who want to improve in public speaking, like come together and they take turns giving speeches uh, in front of each other. And then uh, it's pretty cool. They have things like they have like evaluations at the end. Someone's assigned to evaluate your speech on what on what you did well and how you're going to improve. Um, there's also and so and there's also like uh, people who keep track of your ahs and ums and check like you know your incorrect uses of grammar uh so yeah it's it's it's, it's gonna it's obviously if you can't already tell it's already gonna be great for me i have big problems huge problems with ahs and ums yeah i, I gotta improve in that area um so i want to give you guys like a little bit of a background about myself uh and why and why I kind of want to, uh, what's kind of my motivation in order to do Toastmasters. Uh, to start off, uh, I'm kind of an introvert, right? I've always, 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 growing up, been like kind of like the shy, quiet kid that sits in the back of the classroom and doesn't really interact with anybody. Uh, I'm not naturally good at communication. I'm not, it's always, always been something that's kind of just like, fascinated me almost um i even talk about it i'm even gonna uh, i've already had my first speech written down I'm gonna, I'm gonna address this but it's 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 just human interaction has always been just kind of weird to me and, and and i'm interested in how um i'm interested in kind of how people react to each other like if someone says a certain thing this person reacts in a certain way um, but then like maybe if this person says it this way, uh, the other person would have like a different reaction to that. And that's always, always been kind of intriguing to me. And I've always just been interested in, in communication, kind of in human psychology at, from a very, very young age. I've always just been kind of an introvert, like at heart, you know, I'd, I'd much rather, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a software engineer. So obviously my, my job is introverted by nature. But I'd much rather uh, sit at home, watch Netflix, play video games, code all day, rather than go outside and interact with people. And obviously work on my public speaking. But as they say, YOLO? <laughs> I didn't want to get too deep into this, but I, 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 it's happening, it's happening. I could sit at home all day and uh, stay in my comfort zone. You know, I could, I could, you know, just stay at home, eat, ice, eat as much ice cream as I wanted to. Eat as, I love food, by the way. Eat, eat like order like a whole pizza to myself and just kill that and just you know watch TV all day. 
and I and I've lived in my comfort zone for a long time, like many many years. I just I like I I didn't want to like branch outside of it. Um, I didn't want to because I didn't see the point. Like, why do I want to like put myself in an uncomfortable position just so I can like embarrass myself? You know, I'm just gonna take the comfortable route and you know just continue on with my life. Um. I'm pretty sure a lot of people like are this. A, pe- a lot of people have this kind of like uh, realization, or, or they choose to live their life this way. And there's nothing wrong with that, actually. But then, like you know, it, it crossed my mind that yeah, I could, I could choose that route. But then, like day after day after day just goes by. Time goes by really, really fast. It's 2018 now. Uh, it feels like you know, it feels like it's been a blur. 2017 also felt like it was a blur. But yeah, you could live in your comfort zone and stay in there like every day until you until you die, right? But then like, what's the point? What's kind of like the point of, is that how you, is that, I, and I thought to myself, is that how I wanted to live my life? Why not just put myself out there? Why not try to challenge my comfort zone? Why not uh, go out there and, and uh, uh, try to conquer my fears? You know, if I fail, then, then, you know, then I fail and then like, you know, and then you live your life and you die anyway, or you can just sit in your comfort zone and kind of remain there and you're going to die anyway. So my point is there's no point, at least in my, from my perspective, my point of view to remain in your comfort zone, either scenario, you're going to die anyway. So why not? you know, live a life where you step outside your comfort zone and see what you can do. Sure, I'm not, like, I'm not against just stagnating, living in your comfort zone. If that's what makes you happy, then, you know, go ahead and just do that. But for me, it's way more fulfilling whenever I try to step outside my comfort zone and try to, you know, conquer my goals, you know, as opposed to just stagnating. Yeah, and, and then, like, and then, you know, I thought, why not take it a step further and put this, put this on YouTube? Right, like put this on, put this out there on the internet, put myself out there on the internet for everyone to see. Like one big reason for that is I want to hold myself accountable. If, if I see myself on the internet, it's easier for me to critique. I can see myself, and then like I can critique it if I record my sessions. And if I put on the, if I put on YouTube, and then like if like if I you know have like a few viewers that see it, uh, uh, they can like hold me accountable if I'm like if they see me like slacking or not improving. So it's a way to hold my feet to the fire. And, you know, I might regret this later. In this Toastmasters club, uh, I've joined two clubs, uh, actually. So, so it, kinda, it could kind of help accelerate uh, my, my learning curve. So that way I could, like, give one speech at one club. And then, like, I can give the same speech at, at the second club. You know, I could give it twice and I get twice amount of feedback. Uh, I had to pay twice amount of dues, of course. Like, so this is not free. You got to pay dues. Um, but you know, at, at the end of the day, I, th- I think, I think it's worth it. Um, it takes a long time. I have my first speech written out here. It takes a long time to write and then to also rehearse the speech too. My first speech is going to be, by the way, for everyone's uh, first speech at Toastmasters, it's called the icebreaker. You basically like just, just talk about yourself, write a speech and like you talk about your, yourself and your past. Um, but it takes a long time to write and rehearse the speech, but I can not, I can give the speech twice. I rehearse it once, but I give it twice at both clubs. So I'm, I'm kind of knocking out two birds with one stone, and I'm also getting double the practice. And I really, really need to cut my hair. It's my like, look, look at this. My bangs are getting in my eyes, and it is just annoying. My hair is not normally this long, by the way. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, I did get I, I was in a Toastmasters club like many years ago. Um, I was only in it for like a couple months and then you know laziness and uh, my comfort zone kicked back in you know and I, and I quit <laughs> and you know I just you know continue just not I really had no excuses. I was just being just lazy and not like pushing through it. but uh, uh, hopefully like now I'm taking it way more serious and hopefully I can now I can, I can hold my feet to the fire more. Um, I've lost all my, I only gave like a couple of speeches. So like I really gained like no skill since then. It's been a year, so I forgot everything. So I'm starting from scratch. Um, I have my whole speech printed out as you guys saw. 
and I'm gonna just read this speech. I'm just gonna read this line by line to start off. Like I'm gonna start off real small. Like it's it's kind of newbie. Uh, uh, I mean, it is newbie. Uh, uh, all the pros. There's some really really good speakers at these clubs, by the way, and uh, all of them are all of them like all of them can give like you know they can just talk for hours on stage. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how these guys talk just for hours upon hours on stage and uh, without and no notes. They have no notes. It's all in their head. I, like they go by bullet points. Like they memorize like the main points and then like they, they kind of like, I guess, improvise on top of that. I mean, it's, it's sort of improvised. They, like they, they rehearsed it, of course, but um, yeah, it's uh, uh, so I'm just going to read it line by line. I might sound like a robot. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to worry about my ahs and ums that much. I'm just trying, I believe in just kind of like, just kind of like just getting the ball rolling, just taking small action steps and, you know, slowly over time, you're going to build momentum, uh, and get better and better. So I'm just going to start off real small. I'm just like, all I want to do is get up on stage, read my speech off the freaking papers and I'm going to be done. So it's going to be like real newbie. They'll get better. They'll get better. You guys will see, but yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting. Um, so what I plan for what I, what I plan to my my vision for this channel is I'm gonna do vlogs like this where I talk about, you know, how I what, I talk about my journey, how I feel about um, giving speeches. Obviously, I feel you know really nervous for the one I'm I'm about to. Give. I had to give it tomorrow, so I'm, I feel feel nervous about it. Uh, it's just I, I don't think I will ever get over the fear of public speaking. Anyway, going back to the channel, I. This channel is going to be about like me just kind of posting vlogs, like talking about what I'm going to, wh how, how I feel along my journey. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? I'm going to post, uh, I'm going to record, I'm going to bring, bring my camera and record my speeches. Um, they already said I could. And I'm going to post it on here as well. And I'm also going to give critiques on, you know, what I did well, what I didn't do well for, my, for myself. And oh, for each speech, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, because I joined two clubs, I'm going to post, I'm going to post it twice. So I'm going to post the content twice. So for speech number one, you're going to see two videos on me giving speech number one, my icebreaker twice. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how, we'll just see how this thing goes. And uh, I keep it up. I hope I keep it up. I hope I don't quit like I did before. Also, I'm really, really into like self-development stuff too. So I'm going to be posting a lot, a lot of content about that. There's other self-help channels out there, but um, uh, you know, I, I I think I have my own kind of spin to it. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna like I'm gonna throw that in to like whatever like all the self-help stuff that helps that helps you know that can help you know you guys uh, improve in your lives and, and it helps me improve in mine and it helps me become a better public speaker. But yeah, guys, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's about to be really really cringy. <laughs> and definitely when I post my speeches. There's gonna be a lot of like, uh, there's gonna be a lot of moments where you just like. So you know, if I don't know if you guys are into, there are people into like cringy stuff. That's that's a, that's a niche. <laughs> so if you like that, hey, you know, I, I guess I'm in the right. But overall, it's 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 gonna be like a positive experience. That's what I hope to get out of this. It's it's gonna be me, you know, just kind of just overcoming my fears and tackling it and just tackling it a little at a time, bit by bit. I want to try to get better. You know, just a little better every time, a little better, a little better, a little better. And then there are going to be some days, I, like, I know where I'm going to uh, uh, regress. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall backwards, you know. I, I know this is, like, this is a really hard task for me, personally. Like I said, I'm, uh, you know, I used to be really quiet and shy, you know, not so much anymore. But I've worked really hard, you know, because I'm into self-development and stuff, I've worked really hard to try to come out of my shell a little more, a little more, a little more. So it's gonna, it was a gradual like growth experience for me to like kind of come out and then like kind of expand uh, uh, to the point where I can do a vlog on YouTube now and then like work on my public speaking. And then, you know, th this journey itself, it's like, it's, it's, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be me just getting like a little better, a little better, a little better, a little better. It's, it's, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be in this for a long haul. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's, that's about it. Uh, uh, you know, if you guys want to join me on my journey, subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.